KS Services is now offering preventative maintenance plans as low as $12 a month. Preventative maintenance is so important when it comes to your HVAC system. Let us come check your system out and perform our 22-point inspection. It's better to be safe than sorry. We have so many plans to choose from and special offers that go along with them. Call today for more information. 205-322-9090. Alabama license number 11120. Weather Extreme Video. This is the afternoon edition for Friday, the 18th of January. I'm James Spann. Get ready for a wild ride this weekend. Very mild tomorrow, strong to severe storms, then snow flurries, then in the deep freeze we go. Here we go. Let's talk about things. Very interesting pattern, which often is the case this time of the year. There's the upper air look. Got a wave coming out of the Rockies, producing a lot of snow out there. Not much sun across Alabama today, but a little bit. That's the visible satellite view. Some thin spots in the overcast. And at 2.30, we had mostly upper 50s on the board, although Montgomery's up to 65. We'll be in the 60s tomorrow, and then we go in the deep freeze on Sunday as some of this very cold air up north drops south. Temperatures over northern Minnesota, North Dakota are way below zero at mid-afternoon, and we'll catch phase one of that Sunday and Monday. The next phase comes late next week. Big mess up north. Winter storm warnings in effect from Des Moines to Chicago, Indianapolis, Cleveland, B uh, Pittsburgh, Buffalo, and to New England. That's where some really big snow amounts are going to come down this weekend. Got uh, winter storm watch down into Kentucky. And wind advisories for parts of West Tennessee, North Mississippi, but things are quiet here for the moment. We got a chance of severe storms uh, west of the state tonight, a marginal risk. This includes places like Jackson, Memphis, Little Rock, Shreveport. In the tomorrow, the Gulf Coast region with a chance of severe storms. Uh, the Weather Service or the SPC guys have trimmed back the standard slight risk a little bit to kind of to match the best instability. The uh, standard risk is now mainly over west and south Alabama. Uh, places like Tuscaloosa, Demopolis, Camden, Mobile, Jackson, Monroeville, Evergreen. A marginal risk up to Huntsville and Gadsden. And we'll talk about the specifics in a minute on the threat tomorrow. Precipitation for the next seven days. A lot for the east. And again, a lot of that's going to be in the form of snow north of here. And we'll see some pretty good rains tomorrow. And I understand this includes multiple rain events. We think rain amounts tomorrow, one to two inches. But again, total for the next seven days, three inches for the Tennessee Valley, two and a half inches for Tuscaloosa, Birmingham, Anniston, Gadsden, one to two inches for the south. So model fans, let's go. This is the GFS, the 12Z run at noon tomorrow. Very deep positive tilt trough approaching from the west. A deep surface low, about 1,000 millibars north of Memphis. Big time snows north of the low. St. Louis, Chicago, Indianapolis, Detroit, Cleveland. And down here we are in the warm sector. This is the 3-kilometer NAM, valid at 3 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Showing really a couple of bands of showers, and there could be some thunder in there. There's not much instability. And that's the big limiting factor. That's why this is kind of a conditional severe weather threat. This is the surface-based cape. And again, uh, for the northern half of the state, hardly any. Uh, the better values down to the south and even down there, they're under 1,000 joules per kilogram. There's a forecast sounding for Birmingham at 3 o'clock tomorrow. And again, the wind fields, you know, certainly there's veering of the wind with altitude. Uh, and you can see the possible hazard type is marginal tornado. But again, if you look at the surface-based cape, it's only 115 joules per kilogram, just a pretty stable air mass, and it's hard to get uh, surface-based severe storms going in an environment like that. Now, should the instability values be higher than forecast, that's a different game. Uh, this is the significant tornado parameter tomorrow at 3. Uh, the numbers uh, peak out between Linden and Camden. Uh, we're about two units there, but clearly the better combination of dynamic uh, support and instability will be somewhere in the Black Belt region, maybe between Demopolis, Montgomery, Greenville, somewhere like that. So we'll kind of keep an eye on that zone, but we'll watch the storm statewide. But hardly any instability north of Birmingham. But the rain could be heavy at times. Again, we're expecting rain amounts one to two inches. Timing, uh, stronger storms. This is the window for the heavier storms, 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. for West Alabama. For the central strip of the state, including Birmingham, 11 to 3 and east and southeast Alabama, 1 until 6. Now, there could be some rain before and after these times, but this is the main window for the stronger storms. Let's go to uh, Saturday night at uh, midnight. Storm's out of here. Cold air floods in. And uh, there's a chance we could see a few snow flurries. We talked about this for days. We don't expect any impact nor accumulation. 
Sunday, the sky clears. We'll be in the 30s all day. Somebody may be touching 40. A good northwest wind at 15 to 25 will make it feel colder. But the sky clears, and again, the sun breaks out by afternoon. And then Monday, Monday morning, we're expecting lows between 15 and 25. Uh, the sky will be clear. The wind will be light. Monday will be a sunny day with a high between 47 and 50. Tuesday, clouds increase, and uh, we'll be up in the 50s. And we'll deal with some rain on Wednesday. Uh, this is showing a pretty good little rain event for the state. And maybe a strip of snow on the top edge of the precipitation over Tennessee. But again, the thermal values just don't support it here. Wednesday looks kind of cool and wet. We'll be in the 50s. We'll get a Wednesday night still cool and wet. And this is Thursday and still wet. So uh, looks like we'll have some rain to deal with Wednesday, Wednesday night, maybe into Thursday. And for now, it looks like just liquid rain for us. And then a week from today, Friday the 25th, deep trough over the eastern half of the country. And again, that looks cold and dry for us. Let's go out uh, 10 days. This is Monday the 28th. Still cold troughing over the east. That looks cold and dry. And man, look at the European. Woo, boy. These are temperature anomalies about 5,000 feet off the ground, 850 millibars. And uh, that's brutal if this verifies. And again, this is Monday the 28th of January. So uh, the latter half of the month looking very cold for the eastern part of the country. But again, we stress for now, for the next 7, 8, 9, 10 days, we don't see any evidence of uh, big snow or ice problems here. Again, there could be a few flurries Saturday night, Sunday morning. There probably will be, but uh, no impact from those. Here are the numbers coming off the European Ensemble. You can see highs dropping in the 30s on Sunday. Another shot of very cold air around the weekend of the 26th and 27th. So if you're looking for warmth, this uh, your, your, your two days are today and tomorrow, and that's probably going to be it for the rest of the month. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes in the blog. The next video here, my next video, will be here Monday morning at 7 o'clock. If you can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend, and God bless.